Okay, so for this one, we have to find uh, Vx using source transformation. So we'll try and combine these two, okay? So let's put a focus on that. So we have a 4 ohm here, and then we have a dependent current source. Right, and then the circuit continues. So let's try and combine these two. So we know V is equal to IR. I is 0 0.25 Vx, and then R will be 4. So 0 0.25 times 4, that's just 1. So V, v will be just Vx. So we can rewrite this uh, circuit. And we'll replace it with a dependent voltage source. Remember, the positive moves in the direction of the current. So positive, if the current is moving left, the positive will be left. So this one will be Vx. And then we have 18 volts here. And let's continue doing our circuit. So this one will be 2 ohms. Uh, hold on, this one will be 2 ohms here. Plus minus Vx. This one will be 2 ohms. This one will be 6 volts. Now let's do a mesh. Let's call this I1. Let's call this I2. All right. So mesh I1. It will be minus 6 plus 2 I1 plus 2 I1 minus I2. So let's simplify this out more. Combine like terms. So minus 6 plus 4i1 minus 2i2. All right. Now let's focus on mesh 2. So it will be uh, 2i2 minus i1 plus 4i2 plus vx plus 18. So 2i2 minus 2i1 plus 4i2 plus vx plus 18. Let's find something to represent this vx with. So we see vx will be equal to 2 times the current passing through here. All right. So I, we see i1 is entering the positive terminal first. So it will be i1. And then we see i2 is... Uh, entering the negative terminal, so it'll be minus I2. Alright, so Vx will be 2 I2 minus, sorry, 2 I1 minus I2 plus 18. So distribute the 2 in, we actually get this. And then let's click like terms. So this and this cancels out. So we just have 4 I2. Then we see this and this cancels out. So we just have the, the following. So 4i2 minus, is our equals minus 18. So i2 will be equal to uh, minus 4.5. And now we can use that to solve for this one. So minus 6 plus 4i1 minus 2 times minus 4.5. So minus 6 plus 4i1, so minus 2 times minus 4.5, that should be plus 9. This and this, that gives me 3 plus 4i1 equals 0. So let me, let's solve for i1. i1 will be minus 0 0.75. Now let's solve for vx. Vx will be 2. I1 is minus 0 0.75 minus minus 4.5. So we get, so minus 0 0.75 minus minus 4.5. That's 3.75 times 2. That's 7.5 volts.